and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Pirate Burn. That's right, we haven't played this deck in months and it's a good deck and it's you know one of the more popular decks and everything which has just been a really long time since we've played it and so I kind of felt like playing it today. We got two other control decks that we're going to have bookending this Pirate Burn deck but let's give this one a try. This is Misfortune, this is Gangplank. I'm sure if you've played this game for a period of time, you've definitely run into this deck before. I'm playing it a little, just a slightly different from like kind of stock list. I'm not playing Make It Rain. Most everybody plays Make It Rain these days. I'm not that huge of a fan of Make It Rain. I want my spray fins always drawing fervor. So no Make It Rains in here. Instead, we got um, two Fortune Croakers and one House Spider in the two mana slot just kind of splitting that up instead of playing three croaker or three spider i kind of want a little bit of both house spider is the kind of card that, that can be pretty good but you don't really need to be drawing multiple house spiders because you know you fill up the board too fast but we're just going to have the one and then fortune croaker will give us some more card advantage for the late game and then we're gonna have one captain farron uh, i love this card at the top end of my noxus aggro decks if all things go according to plan we will be killing them before round eight but things don't always go according to plan. Sometimes your opponents stabilize, and Captain Farron does a great job of finishing out games when your opponents do stabilize. So we'll try that out as well. All right, so here we go. It's Pirate Burn. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. All right, Draven Ezreal. So this is a classic matchup. Both classic decks. I think we're actually going to keep Gangplank. It's a difficult card for them to deal with. We got double one drop. We'll hopefully get some other ones. I don't know. I keep Gangplank a little bit more than probably other people do in this deck. Because especially having, like, we have the attack token round, chill out there, uh, round five. And so I'm going to want to just attack with the Gangplank immediately round five with having the attack token. So I play Misfortune, they play like Draven or the 4-3, I attack, then they Mystic Shot. Don't do any extra damage if Misfortune dies. No do one, one additional point of damage. Yep. So the Misfortune still, you know, we just dealt one additional point of damage than what we would have if I would have open attacked. But then again, they may have just used both those two cards and killed both my things, and I did no damage, so. It's all about getting that damage in there. We got him down to 14. It's time. Two mana still. I never miss. Axes coming right up. I could just keep like this my spell man available for both of these fervors like fervor like the powder keg okay More damage across, they're down to 10. They don't have any Nexus healing, so it's just always about continually getting more damage across. Down to seven. Go. Gotcha. Feels 
Was a good game. They had a very good hand. They, you know, we we had a good hand, but they just continually stopped us, and that's how it goes. Now we need to draw one more decimate or some other way to do two more points of damage. Earth. Yeah, I don't really need Scorched Earth. It's going to be a close game. What are we going to top deck? Hopefully something good. Another Decimate, please. Once I stab papers, now faces... Witness perfection, meat bags. Prime and ready. Well. See, I was even thinking about that of like, uh, if I don't play Ballista, like, you know, Captain Farron plus Decimate, but we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have had the mana, right? Because like the Ballista is three mana, so that's still four, so I wouldn't have had the mana for Decimate, so it was worth playing the Ballista. So I, I think we probably lose here to the Ezreal because let's see because that does two this does one I mean that's three so they have to just have like anything oh and they don't they only had two cards they just needed like basically anything to finish it out and they didn't so there we go that's a win wow we got a mirror match now yeah they don't pull the powder keg we definitely die uh, let's see I don't know. In the mirror, do I want to keep it? Kind of do, but I think I'm going to send it back. We got to be uh, super fast in the mirror match. Reporting in. I have my order. Ready. They got past me. Explosives prime. I never used Everything's in place. Came a long way from the bolt. Please don't have Jagged Butcher. Just pass, pass, pass. Yes. No Jagged Butcher. Perfect draw for us. We drew a Jagged Butcher. So made that trade where Crackshot Corsair was doing the most damage that it... Like, that was like the only thing that Crackshot Corsair like traded with. But I know that, that my play was not so great for my Demolitionist, which I do had, did have the two Demolitionists. But I, I gambled on making the best plays for the most amount of damage and everything, and that Jagged Butcher really had, you know, that really paid that off. I guess they're going to be trying to make a rain. So I should do this in case make a rain hits. And I could just take that damage. This is my best play against make it rain, right? But then if I take this, then they get to block these. No, we need, we need to block it. Just hope they don't hit the butcher. Ooh, no make it rain. Okay. Or at least they're going to wait till after combat where now they hit the saboteur. Let's go get him. Yeah, I don't think they should have let me untap. Oh, they had double up. Well, we're not going to let that happen. Are they down to seven? Explosives primed. Double decimates should finish this out. Yeah, 
Yeah, these games have been like 2019 meta, haven't they? <clears throat> it's felt like that. Thankfully, we were already very far ahead because of how aggressive we were. And that should be game. Alright, 2-0. If it was first to first one to thirty, they probably kill us. But it's first one to twenty, so we got it. Let's see what other Noxus deck we can play against. Maybe Caitlyn, Caitlyn Draven. Oh, hey, not a Noxus deck. All right, so we got Lulu Zed Poppy. So we're both going to be aggressive. I think this is just a keep, right? Because we just go one, two, three, four. That sounds pretty good. I don't know if like the spray fence necessarily a keep. Or if I look for another one, to maybe fill in the curve somewhere, but I guess this is a one, two, three, four, five. Where's my axe? I was thinking maybe they were gonna do a no attack. Please no bright seal protector. Wow. But the good news is that card's gone now, I guess. And good start for them. Tracker and a protector. That's a that's a great one too. I am the blade in the darkness. Really? So if we had the attack token 135 instead of them, we would have dealt three damage to them with the Legion Rear Guard, but then they would have killed Legion Rear Guard on two, but then we would have played Misfortune and been attacking here. I guess we probably would have traded Protector and Grenadier. I guess I have to play you. I would rather play Misfortune, but I guess we have to play you. Man, I thought they were going to do the other card. Go get a misfortune. An My life for the order. I'll do better this time. Wow, taking it all. Taking it all. I was expecting the Shadow Assassin to just jump in front of something. And save three life. So we could spray fin, grab. Uh, fervor, fervor them for three, decimate for four, other decimate for four. Well, this is the blade. Before we die. Keep up, keep up. They won't like this. And beautify. It's just they open attack and kill us the before the second decimate happens is the problem. Definitely gonna die if they have any kind of like rally effect for sure. That's interesting. That's an interesting card. No one's the wiser. They can't just have a rally effect, also, right? They had, you know, round one tracker, round two. Oh man, they can. Round two, bright seal protector. Gross. Then round three, Zed. Round four, Shadow Assassin plus Flea Feather Tracker together. And then Lulu, then Rally. So my thinking here is like, then we play the Gangplank, and then with the Powder Keg and attacking with Saboteur, that's three three total damage, and then next round we Decimate. But now with them having the Rally, I, rarely forget and never forgive. I don't think there's too much of an out for us. 
Especially if they have any kind of, you know, you expect some kind of pump spell they're going to have. They're going to challenge and kill my gangplank right now. Oh, they just use ghost also. That's also this game. Perfect hand. I'll have my revenge one way or other. They can have hands like that. Lulu Puppy. Alright, let's see how we do against th this Lulu deck. Oh, Penitent Squire. So no elites in hand. They don't, did not create that tattered banner. For the Empire. The few for the we haven't. Oh yeah, I guess we did cast Iron Blister one time. It didn't do anything, which is at the very end of a game. To get rich. I like our Gangplank card back. The card back's really cool. You get this card back in the Lava Legends, the Saltwater Scourge mode for finishing each one, each one of the five champions and not dying with each one. That's getting an A skill, an A rating on the skill. Who does not know the name Laurent? You call this a fight? Aha! I'm gonna play another Blisto. And then play like, you know, Poppy or Lulu this round, something like that. Okay, it looks like Sharp Sight. Sharp Sight Twin Disciplines repost, I don't know. I'm happy we played another 4 3 Overwhelm before attacking. Thing, that thing buffs up Protégé to be a 3-3. On the backup Misfortune. Fortune favors the bold. Oh, it makes this a 3-2 also. So they could just trade across the board. Uh, or just actually just kill Misfortune in 4-3 and then... Right, that thing's a challenger too. Thanks, no deals. Yeah. That was a very good poppy. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Soldier to me. Let's get to it. That was a very good poppy. Let's put some to six, make a rain makes it five. So do I want to put another Misfortune back into my deck? Love ya. No, I guess I may have to play it for them coming back and attacking if they want to advance their board before attacking. No pray. No may have to play it here for a blocker. Because we're actually not that close to... Like, we're close to dying. That's incorrect order, right? I guess they can't really buff up these in either way. Okay, down to one. This is really close. It's basically one to one. Using spell mana first is what we need to do because now 
Like, we have to clear up that spell mana so that we can play everything. Now we can play Fervor. And we made it! Wow, so close. And that's why we don't play Mega Rain, right? Because, like, we... If we play Mega Rain, then... The Sprayfin grabs the Mega Rain and just hits three of their units and it doesn't kill them. Fervor kills them. Nami... Zoe. Okay, really hoping not leveled up Nami on round four. Nami is the thing that can race us. Fervor, I guess, supposedly kills Nami. But I want more one drops. So I'm going to just send all these back. Demolitionist doesn't work with the Saboteur. So that's why I'm sending that back. Well, good start for them. Yeah, it really doesn't get any closer than that last game, does it? 1v1 life total. Explosives primed. I guess rearguard attacks for more than Corsair does. When all things that are attacking for three. That's super fast. Hopefully not. Just pass. Don't get the blocker. Oh, they got the blocker. That's a good life. Everything's in place. That's too bad. For the Empire. Could have led with the Corsair first to have them spend mana, but I I just think that that's pretty safe. I just don't think they're gonna really be doing anything right there, but I guess you never know. Let's get it, crew. I think playing ballistas, like I think ballistas, is going to pressure them for more than what they're going to have blockers. I don't think they're going to have anything that blocks that well. <clears throat> okay, where well, they have that. So maybe I was wrong. No, I mean, still, it's four overwhelm. Let me get that thing in front. Going down to five. Came a long way for a bullet. Make sense. So I'll put them down to six. And we still got our overwhelmed ballista. We still have our spray fin drawing noxion fervor. It's kind of dancing all crazy like. And we'll still have powder keg gangplank. Lifesteal. Like a fish in water. <laughs> there we go, lifesteal. We'll just lifesteal the other way. Hit another serpent. Gross. Wow, they hit another serpent. Really hope they don't hit the double stun. Could have opened attack to prevent that. Please don't hit double stun. But they they have gotten the two best possible cards for for their first two super cool star charts, getting serpent both times. So 
so far. So, it would make sense they... Okay. That wasn't the best possible card. Double stun was. Leafs Brayfin back? No, we'll send it in. They're gonna hush Gangplank. Think of how they stay alive. I think we got this. Yeah, we got this. Okay. So that's going to be a 4 1 for Pirate Burn. GG's. Gangplank card back. Gangplank hitting lethal. Perfectly set up for that. Alright, so Pirate Burn still looks like a really good choice. You know, we played some really close games. That's what you're going to do with this kind of aggressive deck, but it did feel like a really good choice. The only game that we lost was just to an absolutely unreal hand from a Lulu Z deck. And, you know, we ended up winning all the rest. You know, we have a good amount of burn to finish it out. I was very happy with the Fortune Croakers because a couple of times we needed that very last card that, that we had. So Fortune Croaker, you know, on round three or four, Whenever we played it around two, you know, didn't seem like it, it did that much at the time, but then later on we needed that one extra card to be the spray fin or the decimate or something like that. Um, so you know, really did pay dividends later. I liked it more than than make it rain as well because I really liked the spray fin drawing the fervor. We had one of the one of those also, like where if spray fin was drawing make it rain, we weren't gonna you know it would have been a lot worse for us. So um, yeah, I liked that quite a bit. So. Um, even the Captain Farron at the top end won a game for us, and it, yeah, and everything looked good. So there's Pirate Burn. I recommend trying out this list. This is a definitely a, a really good quality deck. This is a good deck for ranking up. You're going to be playing faster games also. <clears throat> so that's good for ranking up because you want to play, um, you know, the more games that you play, the um, farther you can rank up. That's just, <laughs> you know, numerically speaking. But that's going to be it here, though, for Pirate Burn. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the list, you know, with uh, a little bit different from what other people play. But I think this is a really good list. So try this out. Um, this is what I would recommend for Pirate Burn and for Rinkin. All right, that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.